to there and tells me that way is home. So I flail and eat against that which I cannot see. Until finally, I rise no more. My curled and dry husk of desert dust. The others, the brittle, tiny corpses of the windows. How's it guys? Uh, welcome to the Nav Gaming TV uh, stream for the third place match between uh, Bravado and Yakuza this afternoon. I'm um, just waiting for the players just to pitch up. So far we've only got two of them online. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the game's going to start off late. It looks like that's kind of the trend with uh, the CS uh, guys. Um, let's just have a quick recap on uh, last week's games. Um, yeah, and it was quite uh, exciting to see that uh, Ian managed to beat Yakuza in the semi-final there, going through and uh, securing their position uh, in the final against uh, Eternal Conflict, who also played a very good game against Bravado. Very unlucky for both, uh, both these teams playing the third place, uh, place match this afternoon. They, you know, in, in certain circumstances, I believe, you know, um, yeah, they could have, they could have actually gone through if they stuck together, but unfortunately, it just wasn't their day. So now we've got the third place uh, playoff game here between Yakuza and Bravado. Things are going to be quite heated between these two sides. I can't say who's going to take it, as both teams have uh, quite an equally matched uh, lineup. Um, you know, players like uh, Sting and uh, Delinquent and Nod on the Yakuza side that are very effective. Unreal, the new one as well to the party. He's very good. Uh, he's uh, played a decent couple of clutch rounds in the sem semi-final and then also in the previous games. Uh, looking at Bravada's side, they've got the DGC uh, winners. So I'm not too sure if you'll see Detroni play tonight. We'll probably see Hakim play in his place once more. But nonetheless, I mean, it's a side full of experience. You know, Rakno, Saint, uh, Deviant, who played a phenomenal semi-final. Um, you know, so this is going to be quite a tight game between the two. Uh, at this moment, looking at it now, we've only got three players on the server, so they're coming in in drips and drabs, and uh, hopefully we'll get to, you know, see more of them pitch up uh, as we go on. For now, um, I'm just going to jam some music and then just wait for the guys to pitch so we can get this uh, show on the road.
Okay. Later. Yeah, later. Right.
Right, so it looks like uh, we're almost ready to go here. We've got uh, one more guy to join in on the uh, Bravado side. Uh, I think it's the player Rachna. Just looking at it at the moment now, they line up a Detrani will be playing. Uh, I'm not sure he will be playing in instead of Hakim is on the server as well. So either Deviant or Rachna won't be playing in this match. Uh, at the moment, as I can see, Rachna is the only one that hasn't the, that isn't online. So it would most likely be uh, Deviant playing. Uh, nonetheless, a very strong lineup. I think uh, you know this can still go either or. I'm not going to pick any sides uh, this game because, yeah, I mean, uh, speaking of the third place match and then the final, both, like all four teams are very evenly matched in their respective games. So now we're just waiting on uh, the Bravada guys to pitch up. Well, the one Bravada guy to pitch up and then we can get this match growling. Uh, just uh, bear in mind that at uh, 6 o'clock Central African time, we're going to be having the final between... Uh, EC and EN, uh, Eternal Conflict and Energy Sports. Uh, there will also be a little bit of a, a prize giving away uh, type of uh, competition which we'll have on the stream. So you guys can obviously take it, uh, you know, click on the link and then vote who do you think is going to be the man of the match. And then uh, after the game, we'll then announce the winners. And you guys, uh, the winners will basically receive a free Steam game or a game that's uh, on the list of games that I've received from uh, Megarom and Talcom. Cool. So I'll see you guys in the next uh, few seconds. And then we'll be pretty much ready to get cracking on this game. Right, so it looks like they've got a uh, fifth playing for them. Uh, Tail is going to be the sub for Bravado in this game. So let, let's switch through to the uh, match now as they all prepare and ready up now for the uh, knife round. At the moment they're just kind of having a go at each other, warming up and so forth. And let's hope uh, we're going to have a cracking game here this afternoon between Bravado and Yakuza. Uh, unfortunately... Um, starting off a little bit late, only 20 minutes late, obviously due to some of the guys having to update their game or so. So let's just have a look now. The restart has been called by the Bravado side. So they're going to be going into the knife run where they will then sele uh, select sides and uh, eliminate maps uh, to come to a decision, you know, what three maps they will be playing. Uh, just uh, to, let, uh, to let you guys know, this is a best out of three. Uh, the final this evening will be a best out of five. So this game should probably last maybe about an hour or so. But let's, uh, let's get right into it and see how the knife round goes. Quite an important round here for the Bravado side as they seek to try and take on Yakuza. Also Yakuza, important for them. But it looks like Bravado are leading the knives at the moment. They've only got one to beat them. There we go, Bravado winning the knife round straight off there. Uh, two guys remaining after eliminating the full Yakuza side. So now the sides have been chosen. Season has been eliminated now. Train then from Yakuza. That means there's Mirage, Cash, Dust 2 and Mirage being voted out. So now there's Cash, Dust 2, Inferno and uh, Nuke. Cash gets eliminated now as well. So that means we've got a 
Nuke Inferno and Dust 2 game and then Inferno gets called, Dust 2 and Nuke are left and uh, we'll see now which map they will be starting off first, most likely uh, Dust 2. Yep, there we go. So Dust 2 has been called first off there by Sting, the captain of Yakuza. They're going to be playing and they're going to be keeping the side. So let's get ready for this uh, third match game here between Bravado and Yakuza. Just by the way, I will be I will be casting this game solo as my fellow co-cast unfortunately had to pull out just before the game due to personal reasons. But let's get the thing, let's get the show on the road now. As Yakuza go into the A site here, looks like there's quite a bit of a rotate from the top side here from Bravada going into top as Yakuza has got an open spot moving into that A area, smoking it off. I don't think, Bru oh, Tails the only one that noticed Yakuza is already in sight. Good player from Hackham getting the pick off on Nod. So now we have a good trade here from Bravada as it's a 4-4, four four, but Yakuza seem quite strong in this A-side, making it a little bit difficult for Bravada to actually breach. They've got three guys left. Hackham pushing in now. Sent's going to try and support. He manages to get a pick off. He gets two. Good play here from Sent. So now we've got a 2-on-2 two two situation here. Yakuza now quite a little bit on low HP. And Sent goes in, gets up the, gets the third, and Black Poison eliminates Snakebite and goes for the defuse. 1-0 for Bravado. Very good start here for Bravado Gaming. Oh wait, never mind. No defuse. That's one for Yakuza. <laughs> Sorry, I looked away for a second then. Didn't actually realize the bomb was ticking. So Yakuza take the lead. They're good play from Yakuza. Getting that bomb down early. Um, kind of showing uh, like, you know, kind of, how do I say, like, you know, sneaking behind the back of A long. No Bravado guy p present there and, you know, capitalizing that score now 1-0. So now as we go into the second round of this first map here, Yakuza kind of taking a little bit slower here in the A long mid side. But Bravada seems to be pushing long quite aggressively. Let's see if they can get the pick there. Bit of a match up here from Yakuza and Bravado. Oh, looks like Sting gets that pick, pick off first on Hackham. So now we've got a 4 and 5 full on Yakuza's. But look, there's P250s and armor purchases here from the Bravado guys. So they can counter the strat quite effectively. Snake by going down, he gets another pick here. So now we've got a 4 on 3. Bravado kind of, uh, you know, on the verge of perhaps taking out a 2 other more. Yeah, there we go. They take out Delinquent. So now it's a little bit more of a tough one here for Yakuza as they go in. And then it looks like they're going to be sneaking around. Sting and Unreal going in and getting that bomb. But good play here from Snakebite getting the pick. He gets picked up by Sin. So now we've got a 1 on 2 situation here. Sorry, from Tail. From Tail uh, now basically... Having to pick up a Bison to try and see if he can maybe breach the site. Sting and Unreal both have armor. Sting on a little too low HP, so it's a bit of a problem here for the Yakuza team. But good play from Sting. He manages to get the pick and 2-0 Yakuza take the first two rounds. Well, it's kind of, um, you know, expected going into, you know, winning that first round. You kind of would give the second round to the other side. However, Bravada did very well. It was a very good save round there, in actual fact. They're managing to take off three of the Yakuza players. So now Yakuza having quite a mix of uh, gun purchases here. We've got an AK, a couple of SMGs, and then a P90 from Sting. I mean, from Snakebite. Bravada still on the save here. Only having two, well, one P250, and then uh, the rest are USPs. A nice slow play here, but it looks like there's some engagement at long here as Sting breaches and gets sent. Now Detrini kind of waiting out in CT Sport, trying to get the pick there with the USB. He does. Good play. So now good exchange there from the Bravado side as they go into this third round. But however, Yakuza pushing the top side, going for the top plant now. So now A is theirs. Three guys on the A side as Bravado tries to push through. Good play from the Yakuza. Unreal there with the MP7 getting the trip. And the score now 3-0. Now all of a sudden this game is going to change around now as Bravado are able to buy up their weapons. Having um, quite a lot of M4s uh, being purchased here. It's a full stack of M4s versus a full stack of AKs and the AWP from Nod. So this could change. So now it looks like there's quite a long uh, a push long here from the Yakuza. So trying to see if they can take on Sent and Hackham at long. Just waiting for the order director to show up. There we go. Sting going in. Does he get the pick? Yes, he does. Sent with a bit of trouble here, but he's got a very good aim. Oh, unfortunately, not picking off Sting there as Snakebite supports and gets him out. So now Bravada, two 
men down already on that long side as the rest of the team rotates. Good play from Detrini there, getting the pick off. But Yakuza proving to be too strong here on the breach. And Sting once more getting, I think, his third kill. He's only got Black Poison to beat, and then he finishes him off. 4-0, Yakuza now very well playing from the, the Yakuza team here. So now Bravada forced to go for the save round again. So they're going to be in a little bit of trouble here. However, they are playing a CT, so they've got, they've got to win about, say, five or six rounds here in order for them to you know, go through and not have an issue um, with uh, attacking and onslaughting as the T side in the second half. So now quite a spread out strat here. Looks like Bravado gone for the full B save. Detrini the only one kind of sitting there mid. But uh, that bomb is looking more towards the A side here for Yakuza as they are going to try and push through and maybe get the bomb there. There we go, Delink, we're getting the pick on Black Poison. However, this is a save round from Bovado, so let's see if they can take on a couple of guys. There we go, Sent getting the first kill for Bravado. Now we've got a three on four situation. Sting coming around from Long and then picking off Detrini. So Hackham with the AK and Sent there just with a P250. It looks like they're probably going to save it, although Sent is going to be coming around that Long area to try and see if he can get himself a gun for the next round. Yeah, I know. Hackham definitely saving that AK-47 while Sent kind of lurking around long, just waiting for Sting to try and breach those doors so he can get himself a gun. It looks like more of the Yakuza members are going to be coming long now. Nod going to be coming in, but he's not going to be going in. Good nade there from Nod. Picking off Sent and uh, the fifth round going to Team Yakuza here. So now... Bravado once more buys up. They've got an AK on their side, uh, so that's going to save some cash there for Hackham. He can use that effectively maybe in the next round. And uh, there's an AWP purchase from Scent. We know how effective Scent is with the AWP. He can really take out quite a couple of guys with it. But it looks like it's a full hard B push here from Yakuza. Black Poison needs to be ready. Oh, he turns around in the wrong time. Tail managing to get the pick there, but uh, Yakuza now company in comfortably into the B site. Sent is going to try and orb from the CT side. Hackham quite far away. Detrini getting picked off at windows. So now we've got a 2 on 4 situation. This is definitely leading in favor for the Yakuza team. So now it looks like Bravado will be saving that AWP and AK. Hackham again saving the AK. So he'll have an extra little bit more cash here. And he'll probably um, be able to distribute a, a weapon or two to his teammates in the next round. So bomb goes down. 6-0 to Yakuza. And they are comfortably in the lead now. A little bit of an issue here for the Bravado side as they're trying to get their bearings together to try and at least take a round now. It's crucial for them to take a round in the next two or three rounds. In order for them to go through into the second half, to be able to counter and perhaps win the map. But I mean, it's all down to pretty much now. Not there, unfortunately, not getting the pick mid. Got a good shot off. He hit tail quite hard there. Now it looks like again the Yakuza side breaching the B. They get the picks. Sent managing to pick off one before he gets he got picked off by Sting. There's Sting playing an absolutely cracker of a game at the moment. Black Poison managing to pick him off now. So now we've got a three on three situation. This can go either or. If Bravado can breach well together, this could work for them. Oh, good shot there from Snake Bite. He picks off Black Poison. So now we've got a two on three. Very difficult situation. He gets the double on Hackham. Good play. So now Detrini, the only one left, kind of waiting for Snake Bite to show face. He gets the one on Snake Bite and then gets picked off by Unreal. Score now 7 0 to Yakuza. Well, looking at it now, I mean, Yakuza quite, um, you know, in the lead here, playing on Dust 2 as the terrorist side. Bravado, you know, struggling now, trying to see if they can get some guns together. Those save rounds there from Hakum have paid off, managing to buy his teammates some M4s. So now we've got a full stack of M4s once more from the Bravado side. And Yakuza going in there with their 4 AK AWP combination. Oh, very hard rush here from delinquent on top he's really trying to get that first pick he doesn't 
succeed though. Not coming around the other side. Taking it slowly and t picks off Hackham. Now there's a bit of a problem for Bravado in A. And that's a double there for Nod. He's playing very now well, very good with the AWP, but he gets picked off there by Black Poison. Bravado are coming back, and let's see if they can actually take this round. Thing. Very slow play from him now on the top side, but he knows people will be coming from the top area. Black Poison trying to get in there. Gets the pick on the snake bite. Good player from tail sorting out stings. And now we've got a 2 on 3 situation in Bravada's favor. As they pick off uh, Delinquent, Unreal's the only one left. He's got some clutch work to do. He gets the one, he doesn't get the other, and Black Poison will be able to defuse the bomb, giving Bravada their first round. Yep, this time he gets the defuse, unlike the first round where unfortunately he couldn't. Bravado finally strike back with a round there. Score now 7-1. So now going into the ninth round now, Yakuza still quite favorites to take this half. But uh, Bravado can change that around, you know, having winning that one round now. There's two Famasas being pur uh, purchased here from Tail and Detrini. Those guns can be used quite effectively against the, the onslaught of the Yakuza team. Let's just see what the Yakuza side is doing. They, they are playing that lower mid area. It looks like they might do a mid to... Oh, they get the pick there on Tail. But it looks like they're going to be going top once more now. Unreal trying to get the pick there on Detrini. Or Black Poison. Then getting the pick long on Hackham. Sense got the AWP. Good pick there from Sense. He's got to work top hard now. So now all of a sudden the Yakuza side are under pressure. Snake, uh, Snakebite and Unreal playing that mid once more. But Detri is going to be supporting Black Poison from mid. So this could be a problem for them. Very slow play now. Nod still playing with the AWP on long. He's going to try and see if he can get the pick there on Sense. Sense picks him off. And now all of a sudden, oh, there we go. Some exchanges here from the Yakuza side. Now, now we've got a 2-on-2. Two two. Detrini with the Famas sent with the AWP against the two AKs of Snakebike and Unreal. Detrini coming along ooh, carefully there. Oh, he gets picked off there by Snakebite. Snakebite in a very sneaky position. Managing to get the pick there. Sent the only one left with the AWP, but we're not too sure if he's going to be saving or going for it. Well, it looks like he is going to the CT spawn side now. He's going to try and see if he can maybe try and get a pick off on Unreal. As Snakebite kind of chills in the tunnel area. Oh, here we go. It looks like he's, he's a little bit under pressure there, but uh, he's going to be backing off now. Unreal might be taking him out. He manages to get away with that AWP, so he can use it in the next round. Let's see if he gets another pick here. Oh, no, he doesn't. Unreal picks him off now. And Yakuza extend their lead there. 8-1. So now going into the 10th round now, it looks like Bravado needs to save once again. They're under an enormous amount of pressure in this match to try and uh, at least get a third place position here after winning DGC uh, a couple of months ago. A lot of people, um, you know, kind of thought they would take it, but unfortunately they're you know, their online reputation is not as great as on LAN. Where playing on LAN, they are very dangerous to compete against. Not playing the T-spawn side here with the AWP, getting the pick there on Detrini. Now he's going to be put under the pressure here from the Bravado side as they move in towards T-spawn. The bomb's already been planted in B. Not getting a second now. He needs to run or is he going to fight it on? No, he throws in the flash grenades. Gets the third. Good play here from Nod. Gets the fourth. Does he get the ace against Bravado? How come the only one left there with a P250? Nod coming in. Does he get the ace? Yes, he does. Good play from Nod. Picking up the first ace of the match. Score now 9-1. Yakuza are very strong. So a very good play there from Nod with the AWP managing to pick up four of them and then kind of finishing off Hackham with the P250 there. So now Yakuza are comfortably in a position here to go into the next half and uh, hopefully defend it off quite effectively. However, their T side is a lot stronger than their CT, so this can still go either way. And on top of that, it is only the first map. 
So now it looks like there's three playing the mid side. Sting playing that bomb long very patiently as Yakuza breach mid. They get the pick there on tail. And now the pressure comes in from Bavado there. Hackam the only one long now. He gets the first pick. Does he get the second? Yes, he does. Good play from Bavado. Hackam there. And then Black Poison getting a uh, picking up a shot, uh, kill himself. And real the only one there to beat. And now sent spamming him through the smoke and gives Bravado a second round. Good play. So as we go into the 12th round now, Yakuza still with that nine points now. Only three rounds left. Bravado are, are going to have to try and see if they can take the next uh, three or so rounds. At least giving them a bit of a cushion here going into the second half and playing as the terrorist side. Oh, peeking all over the place. Oh, not missing the pick there, but he gets the shot on tail. Doesn't kill him though. So now very slow play, very spread out play here from the Yakuza side. Delinquent and not playing the long area. Still very slow play here. There we go. Snakebite getting the first pick on Black Poison. So now we have a 4 and 5 situation here for, well, in favor of Yakuza once more. They smoke up that CT spawn side, maybe just to try and, yeah, there we go, to try and breach at mid area. Tail still playing the B side there, waiting for someone to breach from B, but it looks like it's kind of a, uh, a decoy there from Yakuza as they all boost up and go into the top area. Sen kind of looking around. He has obviously called it as Yakuza are breaching already. Bravado has got a full stack of guns here, so they can use it if they breach correctly. Oh, Snakebite getting his second on Detrini. Hakim playing the long side area. He's got, he's under a bit of pressure. He gets the one pick on not. Good play. The AWP is, or well, one of them is out. And Snakebite managing to pick up a third there. Sent the only one left. He's got the orb, so let's see what he can do with it. He probably will try and save. Oh, he manages to jump just around. That box, and now he's trying to run up B. Is he going to get picked off? Oh, Unreal picks him off there for a second time as he tries to save. And the score now 10-2. Yakuza are playing a very good game here. So now Bravado having to save again. They've got only three rounds left, including this one. In order for them to actually, you know, grab a couple of rounds back, it looks like quite a long, hard, long push here from Bravado. But they are getting picked off quite a lot here. Not picking up the double. Sting then, or Snakebite being pa uh, taken out there by the Molotov. Or more so Flame Grenade on the CT side. So there, that CT spawn smoke takes place there from Unreal. As we have a three-on-two situation here, Adam. I'm not too sure if Delinquent is actually AFK. Yeah, no, Delinquent's unfortunately gone AFK. So now we've got a two-on-two -two situation here. As uh, Tail and Detrini plan to re-breach that B site. So it looks like they're going to be going through the T site area here. And Real and Nod are the only two left. Good play there from Unreal getting the first pick on tail. And then great support there from Nod securing the 11th round here for the Yakuza side. Score now 11 2. So a quick smoke there from the Yakuza side. They're only four members now, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult for them. But however, the Bravado side have got, well, have been forced to save. So this could still prove useful for them. Black Poison, the only one there with the M4A4. And it looks like the... Oh, there's Snakebite taking the pick off on tail. He gets the double on scent. So now we have a three on four situation here. 
Not coming in from the long side now. He's going to try and see if he can get a pick in CT spawn. Oh, he gets picked off there by Black Poison. Good exchange. Snake fight then picking up his third. And Sting then assisting by taking out Detrini there. Snake fight the only one left. And he picks off Black Poison for his fourth. Good play by Yakuza there. Even a man down. They managed to take a round back. Score now 12-2. Here we go, we still have a 4 and 5 situation here as uh, Delinquent is trying to get back onto the server. Bravado now managing to buy up there with uh, a couple of M4s and so forth. Just trying to see what's happening here. I wonder if it is actually not the server that's uh, that's a bit buggy at the moment, as uh, the entire team has gone into well, the server's gone into a bit of a freeze here. So So now our recorded score is 12-2. It looks like uh, we're going to have to just quickly take a quick break here just to try and find out what is going on with the server. Uh, we'll be back shortly. My cold, dry husk has her dust. The others the little, tiny corpses of the windows. Pausing. Okay, so it uh, looks like that the, um, yeah, they just basically just pause the server quickly just to uh, wait for the fifth of Yakuza to pitch up before they carry on. So the pause has been called for, by the looks of it. Uh, just for now, we just kind of wait it out. And uh, once their fifth actually pitches up, then we can continue. Yeah, score now 12-2 in favor for uh, Yakuza. Yeah, very good play here from them. Um, taking those rounds, you know, one after the other. Bravado struggling, on the other hand, not uh, managing to find their feet and, 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 you know, take a couple of rounds as the CTs. So this does look at the moment like quite a bit of a one-sided match. But uh, nonetheless, uh, looking at Yakuza, you know, their strongest uh, portion is the... Uh, the T side, so when they're going to be switching over and Bravada playing as T's, you know, this game can completely change around once more. So, as we wait now for the fifth, uh, for the um, Yakuza uh, team to arrive, uh, then we will commence the game and uh, carry on with the cast. Okay, so it looks like uh, we are back into the game here. Um, after that's been sorted out, they're obviously going to resume without their player. 
Oh, Snakebite taking the first pick there on Black Poison in this 15th and final round of the first half of this first map. So Black Poison already being picked off here. We've got a 4-4 four four situation here as we go into this final round. Tail gets picked off there by Nod. So now we've got a 3-on-4. Bravado needs to try and see if they can actually get this uh, sorted out. Possibly breach through and get a pick or two and then try and defuse the bomb. Sting playing quite aggressive here. Does he get the first? Oh, no. He gets picked off there by Sent. A little bit of a... Uh, well, Sent there playing very well. Getting... Another shot off, but Nod and Unreal are playing quite well, and there they go, securing the first uh, half of the map, 13-2, Yakuza are still a man down though, so this could definitely favor Ravada going into the second half now, um, with a man down. Okay, so it looks like the wait has been called. Score 13-2, Yakuza. So we'll obviously wait then for Delinquent to pitch up. And it looks like he's just pitched up in time. Um, are they going to call for the restart? They most likely will. So here we go, the restart being called here from the Yakuza team. Delinquent pitching up just in the right time now as we go into the second half here. Just bear, bear in mind the scores was 13-2 for Yakuza. Now going into this, let's see what the Bravada side can actually do. It looks like they're going to be pushing the full on long here. Delinquent Sting and Nod are protecting that A side, so it's going to be a bit difficult. Detrini getting the first pick off there. And then a good uh, trade off from Nod on tail. He gets the double. Good play here from Sting as well, supporting him. Picking off most of the Bravado guys. Detrini now coming in and getting a pick himself. He gets the triple, I think. Can he get the bomb down here for Bravado as he's, as he's got two Yakuza guys to face? Gets the plant of good play. Oh, but gets naded there. Unluckily there from e Unreal. And Yakuza now 14-2. Walk into the second half taking the lead. Very good play there from the uh, Yakuza side. Just quickly having a look, look here. Looks like not seeing much. Just waiting for those graphs, obviously, just to update. And then maybe we can give you a little bit more of an in-depth um, analysis on how these players are performing in this game. Very good play here from Yakuza taking that first round. So they're going to be able to defend it off. It looks like Bravado are setting themselves up here for a B. Sent the only one in A long. Does he force the rotate? Uh, Snakebite already moving towards that mid. So Unreal's the only one here. Gets put under pressure and gets taken off there. Surprised by here from Bravado. Snakebite now with a P90. And uh, yeah, that's quite interesting to see the. the so it looks like. Uh, I'm not too sure if there was a bit of an issue there with the with the server itself and why it's uh, disconnecting now all of a sudden. It could be a server issue here, but we're just going to try and find out what's happening here. I'm busy chatting to the captains now to try and see. Now it looks like they have gone and actually uh, changed it off. Yakuza then taking that round or that map. 16-2, uh, that's the confirmed scores here. I do apologize now for the quick... Uh, uh, you know the cut off here on the last or s the last round or two, and unfortunately we couldn't uh, you know keep that uh, well cast it because the players voted a little too early. I did inform them not to vote early, and unfortunately they went in ahead and did it. So now the second map to be played here will be D E Nuke. Um, probably I'll probably give it about another two or so minutes, and then we wait for them to pitch up, and then we can get this uh, show on the road. Uh, Yakuza taking the first map there, 16-2, uh, very well played.
Right, so we're going to be going into the second round now. Uh, looks like they're going to be knifing for sides on the second round. Let's see uh, if Bravada can bounce back here. They've got a very strong nuke here, uh, playing, uh, like casting a couple of their previous game, games, you know, uh, against um, DC, for instance, and uh, Yakuza and so forth. The Yakuza are not very strong on the nuke particularly, so this could definitely turn into a three-map uh, a, a three game. Uh, if Bravado, you know, can settle in and, and you know, sort out their, their minor issues here. Uh, obviously that first game not going their way, unfortunately. But I'm sure they'll be able to bounce back now and take this second map. So now as they're going to the knife rounds here, Yakuza now. And Bravado are going to try and see if they can actually win it. Quite an important knife round. Yeah, exchanges taking place on both ends. Bravado taking the lead there with the knife. And now Delink with the only one left. Bravado taking it. So they most likely will take the CT side, which they do going in now. This is going to be quite interesting to see. I mean, Yakuza has got a lot on their plate to try and see if they can actually take the second or the first pistol round as T's. Now, obviously, in this case, they want to get that cushion of about five or six rounds going into the second half as CT, so it eases it, eases it up for them. But uh, let's see how it goes. So it looks like it's a full deep breach here from the Yakuza side. Black Poison getting a double pick. They're sent in for some good support. Now, all of a sudden, Yakuza a little bit of in trouble here. Sting kind of waiting for the push. He's the only one left. He gets one. He gets two. Good play here from Sting. Biting back quite a bit. Zim and Black Poison having a one-on-one -on -one with each other here. Oh, does he pick him off? Yes, he does. Good play here from Sting. Bouncing this game back. He's only on 21 HP though, so it's a little bit uh, of an issue. He's obviously going to try and come top to try and see if he can get a pick off on Detrin. He gets him to half HP. He needs to try and steal that bomb. Maybe drop down lows and get the bomb down. But Detrin and Hackam are waiting for him to just peek around that corner. It doesn't look like he's there anymore. So now he's going to have to peek and try and pick. Oh, and there we go. Detrin picks him off and Bravada takes the first round. 1-0. Good play.
So going into the second round here. And uh, full save here of P250s from the Yakuza team. Bravado buying quite a assortment of weapons here. A couple of uh, some machine guns. Uh, we've got an M4. We've obviously got the FAMAS as well there in Sent's hands. Tail getting the first pick, then Sent coming to the party with the second. So now Yakuza once more in trouble as they go into... Now slow play here from Yakuza as they take control of the ramp side area. Sent kind of waiting for them on the bottom side. Does he get the pick? He gets the double. Good play. Now only two Yakuza members left here. Snakebite now trying to see if he can get a pick with that P250. Sting coming up to the top area, but he's been yeah, he's been seen there by Hakim, but manages to pick him off. Sent quite a bit on well, quite low on HP, so is tail. But they take out Snakebite in the top area. The the T's have managed to plant the bomb, so this will favor them. Score now 2-0, Bravado biting back here. And they play a very strong nuke as we've seen in the past. So Yakuza are going to be in a bit of trouble. Good play all round from the Bravado side. Hakan, the only one not picking up a uh, kill as of yet, but... A very good teamwork. Sting, the only one picking up uh, kills for the Yakuza side, enabling them to plant that bomb there on the second round. Now, going into the third round now, Yakuza have surprise bought with AKs and armor the works. They're spamming that uh, outside area quite a lot here. Black Poison throwing the nade in here. Detrini getting the pick off on Snake Bites. So, already Yakuza losing a member there. And they lose two. Good play there from Bravado. Getting two picks already. Making it a third. Detrini picking off Nod for his double. Sent going to try. Ooh, unfortunately doesn't get the pick off on Sting there. So now very slow play. Deli uh, Sting's the only one left here. And there's quite a lot of Bravado guys left. All of them in fact. Tail and sent on low HP, so Stink can try and see if he can get the pick. But Detrini picks him off there for the trip. And a very good play here from Bravada, taking the first three rounds and uh, trying to bounce back here and getting a, a map on their side. So just quickly updating the maps there. Uh, Yakuza taking the first map 16 2 against uh, Bravado. Now Bravado bouncing back 3-0 in the second half here, or the second uh, map here, trying to see if they can maybe win this one. Good play nonetheless here from them, taking the whole Yakuza team out. The only one left is Snakebite who manages to plant the bomb. Black Poison trying to come in foolishly with the knife there, getting picked off. Snakebite picking off three at the time. Uh, very good play. Bravada picking up their fourth round now. So now all of a sudden this game is swaying around as we would have hoped. And now the Yakuza team now buying up. They've got the AWP of Nod. He's going to be able to have a bit of a festival outside there. Maybe picking off Detrini, but it all depends on how well they get the instigate shots off. Now slow play here in the lobby area from the Yakuza team. They're also playing up on the silo side there. Sting trying to see if he can get a pick. Ooh, not missing the shot off there on tail. Tail quite lucky to be alive there. Now quite a bit of support here from the uh, Bravado side outside. They've got three guys sitting outside here as CTs. Only two guys inside. So now Nod waits patiently for a pick. He gets the pick on tail. Detrini waiting on the staircase now. He's patiently waiting. He's going to be moving a little bit back here. Might be coming up trying to see if he can get a pick. And Nod picks him off as well. So now Yakuza bouncing back here trying to see if they can maybe take a round. 
Good play there from Snakebite. Getting the shot off on Black Poison. And now we've got a 5 on 2 situation as Sent and Hackham really trying to get the picks. Hackham gets one shot there on Delinquent. Sent coming in from the lower area. Doesn't find a man. Hackham on a lot of pressure on the top side. He gets picked up there by Sting. And then Sent managing to pick off Snakebite. Unfortunately, not standing outside there with the AWP. Score now 4 1. Still in favor for Bravado. So Yakuza now on the buy. Bravado also on the buy. They got a full uh, spectrum of guns. They got the AWP of Sense. Detrini playing the outside area. He's very effective playing outside. Just quickly looking up on the scores there. Black Poison taking the lead there for Bravado now. And it looks like Yakuza again playing that same strat where they've got a couple of guys outside and three inside. Sting and not both. Unreal getting the first pick on Black Poison who kind of lost a bit of patience there. So now slow play here from the Bravado teams. Well, tail coming in, getting the pick there on Unreal. Good exchange. So we have a 4-4 four four situation here. Not just getting past. As he makes his way down to the lower area. Sent there with the AWP lower as well. So he can cause quite a bit of damage. But it looks like Sting and Nod are just kind of waiting at that staircase area. It looks like they might just uh, rotate this and move towards the top area rather instead. Oh, Detrini picking up the pick there. Snake fight then sorting him out. So now we've got a three on three situation. Good exchanges from both teams here. Trading kills quite effectively. Only nine seconds on the clock. Ten, uh, Sent gets the bomber. And then Bravada's tail manages to pick off Snakebite. And not as the only one left with the AWP. He's ran out of time, so he's going to kind of back off. And save that orb. And it looks like Delinquent has dropped once more on the Yakuza side. So this is not something that uh, they need right now. They're going to continue playing. It doesn't look like they're going to be pausing. So oh, there we go. Delinquent is back up. He's only got 800 bucks in his name. So he's going to buy himself a P250. Whilst the rest of the team have Galil's AKs and the AWP of Nods. Bravado now in a comfortable position there. Tail picking off the orb uh, quite early. That's going to cause a bit of a problem here for the uh, Yakuza side. So they try to play the picking game here on Nuke. Unreal under a bit of pressure here from Detrini. Sent still got that, uh, that Ram side covered. He's going to try and see if he can get a pick off. Yeah, he gets the shot off on Delinquent. Good play. However, Sting has moved him forward with an AK. He doesn't get the pick on Sting. So Yakuza's only got Unreal and Snakebite. Sorry, Snakebite. Snakebite still got the AWP there. He's going to probably just back off into T-Spawn with it. Let's just have a look. Yes, he is. He's going to try and save that AWP and then hopefully... Use it on the next round. I mean, Snakebite is one of those players that can use the... AWP quite effectively. Let's just have a quick look here and how the graphs are going. Um, we're seeing most of the players here playing quite quite interesting on the damage side. Let's look on the kills. You know, uh, Sting right on top there, far away from the rest of his, uh, his, his members. It looks like Snakebite has managed to get a kill, but he's going to, you know... Whoop, there we go, Black Poison... Uh, Picking him off now. So let's just quickly have a look at the graph here. Looking at the total uh, kills there. Sting right on top there already with a uh, total of 10 kills. Uh, Sent coming in, coming up with 8. And, uh, you know, the cash between the two, between most of the guys, is pretty much in that uh, 4,000, 5,000 region. So it's not too bad. So now as we go into the 8th round here, Bravado are comfortably sitting 6-1. 
as Yakuza are going to save. Detroni getting the first pick off there. Unreal trading and getting tails. So we have a 4 and 4. Unfortunately, he gets picked off there by Detroni. So the save round is a little bit more difficult here for the Yakuza side. Hakim then coming to the party, picking off Sting. A very important pick there for the Bravado members. And then the pick off there from Black Poison and Detroni. Now the score 7-1. Bravado have turned this game around all of a sudden in their favor as what Yakuza did in the first round. This is very cool to watch at the moment. So now just having a quick look here. Interesting player from uh, from the Yakuza side. They've, uh, they've bought up a full spectrum of AKs and a Galil from Unreal. So it looks like they might be charging that left-hand side. Sent is waiting for them. He gets the first pick on Unreal. Now the bomb is down. A bit of a problem here for Yakuza, but they smoke up quite well. Sent getting the double there through the smoke. Good play. And Snakebite picking up two very good exchanges and trade-offs here from both teams. So now Yakuza kind of just sitting that ram side there trying to make uh, make up what they're going to be doing. Are they going to be pushing the top side for heaven? Are they going to be going lower? It all depends really. Very slow play here from the Yakuza side. They are running out of time just a little. Tail the only one on the bottom area here with the M4A1. Let's see if he can make the damage. He gets the one pick. Good play. Ooh, he gets picked off there by Sting, so it's still on two on two. But good play here by Detroni and gets the double. And the score still remains in favor for the Bravado side here. 8-1. So now Yakuza are kind of half buying at the moment. They don't have the full financials to actually do a full team buy. Bravado very comfortably sitting there with uh, quite a lot of money in the pockets going into this 10th round. So now Yakuza kind of uh, looks like they're going to be pushing the, the left side here. Bit of a spam here from Snakebite on the top side area. Just trying to see if he can get the pick in heaven. Manages to... Now Detrini a little bit sent there with a good orb shot on Nod. So Bravado now are in the driver's seat here. Snakebite getting another, well getting his first pick there, good exchange. So now the Yakuza side obviously going to try and see if they can get that gun that was dropped there by one of the Bravado guys. However, they've got one to contend with. There we go, they get the shot off on tail. Now all of a sudden Yakuza have got guns. It's a three-on-four situation here. Black Poison waiting in the mouth side. He gets the first pick on Delinquent. Good play. Some spam taking place here. And there we go. This exchange is taking place all over the place. Sting already in that top side area trying to get a pick off. But he gets picked off there by Hakim. Now we've got a two-on-two -two situation. Both Yakuza members quite low on HP. Can they get the bomb down as they come through to the bottom area here? Hakim now waiting in vents here for his victim. He gets the first shot. So now Unreal, the only one there with the bomb. He knows one is in the vent side here. And he gets picked off. Good play there from Hakim. Bravado now 9-1 taking the lead. So, you know, as I can see at the moment, you know, uh, you know, every team kind of has their favorite map here. Uh, Bravado very strong on nuke. Yakuza not very much of a nuke-based team. And, uh, yeah, that's something to show you now. Score 9-1. So, going into the 11th round now, Yakuza buying up full sets, well, yeah, full armor and AK sets here. Oh, Sent missing the pick there, unfortunately. Oh, that, no, sorry, uh, my bad, he gets the pick on Unreal, good play. Snakebite and Delinquent and Sting both being taken out hard there by tail, all of a sudden not the only one left. And Tail finishes him off there for a full kill, I think. Well, sorry, the, the trip. Very good play. Bravado now comfortably 10-1 in the lead. And, uh, yeah, it looks like this is going to be... Um
moving towards the bravado side or favoring the bravado side as they already got the double figures here in the, s the first half. So now kind of slow play here from the CT side, I mean from the, the T side here, they're kind of just lurking outside on top. Oh, but definitely picks off snake bite there. Oh, not getting a trade off there, but tail then picking off delinquent. So it's still a 3v4. Well, still a, a lead here for Bravada at the moment. But nice play there from Stink, getting the shot off on Hackham. Now it's a three on three. Can Yakuza bring maybe one or two rounds back? And it looks like Synoptical has come in to uh, substitute Delinquent. Kind of a mid-game sub. And there we go, Unreal getting the first pick of their Black Poison. Trading off, getting the shot off on Nod. Unreal then sorting him out. Detrini the only one left. He gets the one pick and he gets the double. Very good play here from Detrini. Goes to the defuse. 11-1 Bravado are in the lead comfortably. Detrini shining quite well there in that game. So looking at the current setup now, let's just see how well Detrini has been doing here. On the total kill side, he's definitely climbed that all of a sudden past the, the likes of Sting. And he's playing an absolute cracker of a game here for Bravado. Oh, good play by Tail. He gets the one shot off. He's still got Synoptical to contend with. Detrini sorting him out now. He's playing a very good outside round here for Bravado. Bravado now already 11 rounds to their name with uh, three more to go. Snakebite finally getting a kill there for Yakuza. Detrini picking up his double against Sting. Breach coming in from Snakebite on the ramp side, but sent sorting him out quite quickly. And uh, yeah, Unreal, the only one with the bomb. He's got four CTs to contend with. Oh, he's under pressure here, but it looks like Tail coming from behind and does the knife on him. And, uh, yeah, Vado. Very much in, uh, in the lead here. So, going into the 14th round now, Bravado... 12 one up on Yakuza. A little bit of a problem for the Yakuza side now as they've only got two rounds left. They really need to try and, you know, take a round or two because otherwise it's going to end up... There we go. Synoptical getting the first pick on Detrini. So finally that outside important uh, player is gone. And that should open up a door here for the Yakuza side as they kind of move into the outside area. Synoptical unreal there. Hackham almost getting a shot off there on uh, Nod. Luckily Nod uh, walking away there with 4 HP. Then Tail still playing a very good game outside. Getting the shot off on Unreal. So very slow play here from the Yakuza side inside lobby. There's four of them left. Snake bite the only one outside. He gets the pick on tail. Very good play. Reducing the num member count to only three. And then Scent exchanging very well. And then Synoptical coming to the party. Getting the shot off on Scent. So now we've got a three on two situation. Yakuza could take this round. Oh, very good play there from Hackham and Black Poison sorting out. Synoptical and Snakebite. Now, not the only one left with the, the gun. He's only on 4 HP. He's coming on the top area here. So, he's got... S ooh, almost killing himself. He manages to get the bomb down, but... Oh, one pick from Nod. Yeah, he's got two... He's got another one to beat. Hackham on full HP. What can he do? Oh, he gets the pick there. And Yakuza pull around back. Very good play from Nod. 
And, uh, yeah, I think that was quite essential there for Yakuza. They really, really needed that round. They need another round here to at least give them a slight chance going into the next half. Perhaps maybe winning the map. I don't know. It's going to be very difficult for them. So, as we go into the final round of the first half here, Bravada dominating it here. So now quite a lot of spamming taking place on the outside from Snakebite and the guy Heaven and also through the Shack side so Yakuza all over, all over the place. They man Unreal managing to pick up, pick off Detrini there. Tail still playing the outside area here. He can be quite strong. He gets the one shot on Unreal now. So now Snakebite trying to spam through there. He is hitting his target. But not getting the pick. Synoptical now coming through the Shack side getting the shot off there on Black Poison. So now we've got a three on three situation here in favor for Yakuza at the moment. Hackham now top side. Ooh, he gets picked off there by Synoptical, but Tail then exchanges very well by picking off Snakebite. The bomb is down on the top side area as Synoptical moves towards the mouth side. Sting kind of waiting around there. He gets the one pick, Tail is, is gone. Sent's the only one left. He gets the, Sent gets the pick off there. Can he win his team? A 13th round here, securing most likely a map win. Oh no, but Sting coming around the corner there, catching Sent off guard. A very difficult game here for uh, Yakuza that lies ahead as the CTs. I mean, it's going to be very crucial for them to actually take that pistol round, win the next three or four rounds, at least giving them the slight chance of, uh, of winning. So, as we go into the 16th round here, both teams have their players in place. And Optical subbing for Delinquent. Unfortunately, you can't play due to internet connectivity issues. Nonetheless, the show must go on. Bravado breaching quite aggressively that top side. But good exchanges here from the Yakuza team. Sen picking up the double. He gets his trip. Takes one player to get a couple of kills like that and your team is pretty much in the lead. Snake about the only one left. Sent's going to try and pick him off quickly. And he does for his triple score now. 13-3. And... Yuck. Sorry, Bravado Gaming is 13-3 ahead. So the admin just arriving now. Obviously just trying to sort out the names and the flags. And uh, swapping the names around there. <laughs> Bravada is 13-3 ahead here against Yakuza. Just uh, keeping you guys updated. Good play here from Sent getting the first pick off there. And then Detrini and Hakim both picking off Black Poison also coming to the party. Sent managing. Does he get his pick? No. Sting gets the better of him now. And all of a sudden... Detrini trying to come around the corner to try to knife Sting and Sting just turns around with the P250 sorting him out. Hackham now already sitting in heaven. Sting now with the Galil. He's probably going to try and save it and just uh, wait for the next round as Bravado take their 14th round. Okay, I'll quickly just let the admin know that he needs to swap the teams around. Uh, he's obviously just trying to add the flags and so forth. But as we go into the 18th round here, Bravado 14-3 ahead of Yakuza. The scores might say something different, but uh, it is unfortunately incorrect. So now Bravado trying to breach that side, but it looks like it's a buyer from the Yakuza team. Oh, and Detrini getting the pick off there as well. So now we've got a three on five situation here as Bravado tried to breach that top side to get the, the plant down. 
Sting then adding to the tally now, trying to reduce that number of Bravado members before he gets picked off there by Black Poison. So now we've got a one-on-three situation. Snakebite, obviously, he's going to have to try and clutch it a little bit. He manages to pick off Hackam, but then Tail comes around the corner, picks him off. 15-3 to Bravado. And, yeah, pretty much let's see if this is the ultimate round here for them. Now the CT is there with a surprise buy on the third purchase round. And uh, unfortunately now they are forced to save. How come getting the first pick off on Sting there? Spamming, going through the smoke there and hitting their own teammates against the head. Not really the greatest thing, but uh, Black Poison taking the lead there. He gets another pick off there on Unreal. So now we've got a three on five situation here. Tail then coming in from the shack side. Takes one to the face from Synoptical. And Yakuza are really trying to save a round here for themselves. Black Poison picking up the double. Picking up the triple. Good play. Snakebite the only one left, he gets the shot off on Scent and Black Poison, very good play here from Snakebite, he's the only one left, the bomb is down unfortunately so he's going to have to make quick, oh he's getting spammed here from one of the man, oh Detrini there but Hackam finishes them off and Bravado there, 16-3, take the lead against Yakuza and wins the map, so... That's very good play there from the Bravado side. I mean, it was something that uh, a lot of us kind of predicted because Yakuza is not very strong on the nuke uh, side of things. But, you know, it's good to see now that um, both teams have got a round now to their name. So now we've got a situation where we've got the last and final round uh, between these two. So I'm just updating the maps there. Now it's one apiece. So let's... Uh, uh, let's go into the last round, or sorry, the last map here between these two teams, which is going to be Inferno.
So it looks like uh, we are ready to go and uh, they're obviously just going to be calling votes and so forth for the knife rounds to take place. And uh, for some of you guys that have just tuned in, this is the third and final round for the third place map here between Bravado Gaming and Yakuza. Uh, both teams, you know, winning their rounds uh, quite, or well, winning their maps quite uh, comfortably. They're 16-3 and 16-2. So this one will be the decider between the two. It's going to be quite interesting to see how it's going to pan out now as this knife run is quite important for them to try and see if they can get the side they want. Bravado taking two kills there. And Yakuza now finally coming back there. And now we have a one and one here between Hackam and Snakebite, which Bravado takes first blood. And they'll be starting off the round as uh, the CT side here. This is going to be quite a crack of a last and final map here between the two. Uh, just uh, looking at uh, both uh, performances on this map. Looking at Yakuza, you know, they're very strong as the T side. So Bravada is going to have quite a, a challenge on their hands trying to fend off the Yakuza team here. Yakuza are not so strong as the CTs. However, this can go under all. So looking at the current stat at the moment... Looks like it's going to be a full mid push here, and then a fake to be. They run up to the banana side here, trying to see if they can breach the banana side quite quickly here. Did they force the rotate? Yes, they did. There are four Bravado members in the A side here. Sent now scurrying back, trying to see if he can uh, support. And then he turns around. As the Yakuza side make it into the site now. They take the first pick there on Black Poison. Bomb goes down, Synoptical pull on to get quite far back in the site. So obviously the Bravado guys are going to have to plan their breach now to try and see if they can actually take the first round. Not getting two picks there, Synoptical picking up a pick himself. Sting, the last one closest to tail, who seals the deal there. Not one single Yakuza member died and a very good round for Yakuza taking the lead 1-0. So good start now. They should be able to steamroll into the second round here and win it as well with uh, with a couple of SMGs and a P90. Good pick from Detrini now as Bravado pushed down that ram side quite aggressively. And they get a second pick here. Detrini picking up two, but a very good nade there from Snakebite, managing to pick up tail and Black Poison. And Unreal picking up the double there, 2-0 for the Yakuza side. Very good save run there for Bravado, managing to take out three guys of the Yakuza team. So now going into the third round, Yakuza having four AKs and a P90. Let's see what they will be doing. It looks like they're going to have uh, one guy going up the second mid area. And then a couple more up the mid side as Bravado have four guys in A pushing through that uh, house area there. Good pick there from Unreal on Hackam. Then Nod picking off Scent. So now Bravado are going to try and see if they can get a pick off. But it looks like Nod getting the best of tail there as well. Ooh, and Synoptical coming up the ramps of the B-side there, getting the pick on Black Poison. Detrini finally getting a pick off. He's playing a very good game here for Bravado. And then Nod securing the third round here for the Yakuza team. 3-0 as they move into the crucial round now where Bravado really need to uh, step up to the plate, defend them off so that they're not forced to go into another save round. So Yakuza now pushing that bomb up the uh, banana side, but they're under siege with a couple of nades. Not the only one really taking damage there on 65 HP, but he's got enough to engage. Snakebite, the only one with a P90 in mid. Trying to see if he can maybe get a pick. Black Poison and Hackam have got the B-side area, so now very patient play here from the Yakuza team as Unreal and Snakebite move up that mid-side area. 
trying to cause a bit of a diversion here. Oh, Snakebite not getting the pick on tail. Good play there from the Bravado side. As now the, they try and move in. Hacker managing to pick off uh, Synoptical there. So now we've got a two on four situation here. Nod and Sting both need to try and defend off the site. As the Bravado team plan to breach. Not getting another pick there on scent. Good play here from Nod and Sting as they both eliminate most of the Bravado side. Detrini, the last one left, he's a dangerous player. He manages to pick off Nod. Now he's going to go in to try and pick off Sting who's waiting for him. Flashbang goes in. And Sting finishes him off, giving Yakuza the fourth round there. And uh, yeah, forcing the save on the Bravado seat. So, how are we going to do this? It looks like Yakuza now forced the save there on the Bravado side. Going into the fifth round now, they're going to try and maybe play aggressive or wait for Bravado to push. Good play from Detrini, getting the first pick on Nod there. Very good play, in fact. Synoptical then trading him off. So we have a 4-on-4 four four here, still in favor for Yakuza side because they've got the AKs. But it's a full P250 buy here from the Bravado team. Snakebite getting the pick off on scent in the house area. So now it looks like uh, the Yakuza team are going to be breaching that mid side area, probably coming around the right hand side. Ooh, Hakim just looking at them now. He's going to try and see if he can pick off maybe two or so. Guys, Black Poison, the only one with the AK, he's going to have to use it very well. Ooh, but he gets picked up very quickly. And there we go. Five rounds now, all of a sudden, for Yakuza. Bravado now with the buy once more. Sent playing with the AWP. He's probably going to be playing that uh, connector mid um, side with the uh, CT connector. Yakuza try to breach, they get the pick, but Bravado seems to be quite strong now, taking down two, three of them in actual fact. So Unreal and Snakebite, the only two left here, a little bit of a problem here as they kind of sit outside that mid area trying to see if they can get the bomb. A good support play from Bravado, definitely picking up two there. And Bravado take a round back, score now 5-1. So, looking at it now, this game could still go either or. I mean, Bravado playing a fantastic uh, sixth round there, giving them their first round. So, now we've got the AWP between Snake and Snakebite and Scent. That's going to be interesting to watch. Scent not peeking because he knows there might be someone there. Detrini playing another great game here, not then topping the, the lead for the Yakuza side as Unreal picks off Detrini there. Bit of a caster's curse, I'm not too sure. Well, I hope not at least. <laughs> so now we have a 5 and 4 here. Still both orbs in play. And Yakuza breached the mid side going around the right side area and apartments into the A site. Sent getting his first pick. Gets a second. Good play here from Sent. Gets a third. Very good AWP player from Sent. He gets the fourth. Is he going to go for the ace? Unreal applying a lot of pressure and picks him off. Now all of a sudden this game has turned completely around in Bravada's favor. Black Poison now right here. He gets picked off here by Unreal. Unreal's got another one to beat. And he gets the double. Very good play by Unreal. Triple, in fact. And Yakuza now extend their lead by six. 
Like I mentioned, in, uh, like I mentioned previously, Yakuza have a very strong T side, and their CT side, uh, you know, from from time to time lets them down. Bravado have a very good all-round uh, play in Inferno, but uh, looking at it now, Yakuza are quite comfortably sitting in that uh, pole position to take this third place map. Good shot from Nod there on Hackham as Bravado going to another save round here. Synoptical picking up one. Ooh, he manages to get away, but definitely picking off Nod there. So now breach here from the Yakuza side into the B as Tail and Scent will be coming around with their P250s. Are they going to be kind of say, staying there just waiting for someone's gun? Not too sure. So 7-1 now. Yakuza comfortably extending it more and more. Can Bravado stop it now? Sent again with that crazy AWP skills of his he's going to be using and a full m 1s M4 M4A4 purchase here from the Revolta side Black Poison the only one playing with the FAMAS full AKs now from Yakuza as they breach that B side it looks like they might have seen the weak spot in the Revolta defense here that's why they're going to be breaching B but Detrini and Black Poison Sorry, uh, Hackerman back Black, Black Poison play very well in B from time to time. Ooh, the nades are coming in here quick and fast. So they pick up another victim there. So now we have a three on four situation. Spam from Scent from the CT spawn side. Oh, good play there from Tail getting the first pick off. But then good exchanges from Sting here. I don't think he's aware of Sent, so Sent picks him off, he's got two to beat. Unreal waiting there for him, but it looks like Sent is going to be moving back. He might get picked off now, which he does, and uh, score now increases for the Yakuza side, 8-1. So, once again, the save round from Bovada. Yakuza are storming into this uh, third map. They are really wanting the third place in this competition. Full stack of AKs here. Now we've got three guys in the B-side area here. Obviously increasing that defense, knowing Yakuza might actually come there. Oh, but Synoptical gets the first pick off there on Sense. Gets the second on Hackham, smokes up the CD spawn side as the Unreal picks off Detrini in mid. Black Poison the only one left. And he gets picked off here. It looks like Yakuza are comfortably going to be taking their ninth round. And there we go. 9-1. Yakuza extend their lead once more. So Bravado now buying a full set of uh, M4s. Can they actually defend off this B onslaught from Yakuza? Because it looks like again they, they've dropped the bomb in the mid side position. But they're obviously trying to see if they can get picks. Sent already rotating to the B side area. Hackham there with some spam on Synoptical. Managing to get a little bit of health off him. Only about 6 or so HP. Very slow play here from Yakuza. Snakebite and Unreal are in that house area there. Taking it very slowly. Bravado re-smoking it quite clever. Two picks there from the Yakuza teammates as Detrini comes in and picks up the double. Good play. And Hakim picking up a double himself. And picks up a trip. Very good defense there from the Bravado side. Score now 2-9.
So Detrini there, 10 for 9. And Unreal with a very good game here. 13 for 3. Oh, Sting missing that midside pick there on Scent. Flash is going back and forth on the B side area here. Snake by getting the first pick here on tail. But it looks like uh, Yakuza are still playing the mid, second mid area. Not really breaching as of yet, but it looks like they are ready to go for it now as they're going to go into their left side. Detroni picking up one. He picks up a second. Very good play here from Detroni. Then the support from Black Poison. All of a sudden, this is in Bravada's favor. Black Poison aggressively coming around, getting another pick on Nod. Very good play here. Sting, the only one left to beat. He's got the bomb. So can he plant the bomb at least here for Yakuza side? Bravada playing excellent here. Excellent defending. And Hakim is going to finish it off, giving Bravada their third round. And very well played. So Bravado managing to pull back another round here, playing a fantastic second map. Are they going to be able to regroup and get themselves another couple of rounds here against this onslaught of Yakuza? Yakuza finally on the save. Black Poison coming to the party now, trying to get the pick. He manages to get Nod and Synoptical down on low HP. Still very slow play here. Hakim then coming in, trying to get the pick. He gets the pick on Synoptical there. Yakuza then taking our tail, who pushes quite aggressively. So now the play comes in here from the Yakuza side on the save round. They managed to exchange the picks there. But Detrini and Sent, the two brothers, sorting out that mid onslaught there from Yakuza, giving Bravada their fourth round. Score now 9-4. So going into the 14th round here, Bravada managing to get four rounds in their favor. Now the Scar being purchased by Black Poison gets eliminated straight off by Nod with an AWP of his. Unreal picking the shot off on tail there. Now reducing the Bravada count to only three guys. As Yakuza ready themselves up to go for a breach here. They're still playing that midside. Hakim the only one in B sent still playing with Detrini. In the A side, Snakebite the only one in that A apartments, but taking it very slow. It looks like Yakuza are moving up towards that B side, but Sin is going to be rotating to support. Detrini then picks up Snakebite. So now the smokes and flashes go in as the Yakuza side try to breach in. Can they get themselves a double figure round? But Hakim is not letting it happen today. He gets a double. Very good player from Hackham. Now there's only two Yakuza guys to beat. Triple for Hackham. Does he get the third? He's only got not to beat, but definitely coming around here. And finishing them all. Five rounds there for Bravado. All of a sudden this game has turned into, well, one of those matches or maps specifically where you do not know where it's going to go. Bravado picking up that crucial five rounds now. Very well played. Yakuza still in the lead with nine. Yakuza now buying up whatever they can, not only playing with the Deagle there. And Sent now finally having his AWP. He's going to try and see if he can get someone to rotate in that midside area. He gets the pick off and almost gets sh shot quite badly in the head there, but manages to walk away here. Yeah? So the Yakuza side already one down, not there being eliminated. Well, sorry, not not Sting being eliminated quite early. Not coming up now, trying to get the pick on Sent. Yes, he does. Good trade-off here from the Yakuza side as we go into this last round of the first half here. Detrini waiting for someone now to come and breach that door side. It is Snakebite. Snakebite gets the best of him there. But the Bravada side have got very good coverage here. Good crossfire here from Bravada. Black Poison and Tail. As they've got, only got two Yakuza me members to beat. Unreal, who's moved into that uh, 
ditch side now. He's going to try and see if he can get the pick off. Ooh, he doesn't get it. Snakebite still waiting patiently to, to peek out of that door. But Black Poison has got the crosshair on. Oh, he misses the shot. The tail then supports, gets the pick, and then gets picked off by Unreal. So Black Poison now waiting for the ditch push there. The flash comes in, flashes him off. Does he get the pick off? No, he doesn't. So now it's Hackham and Black Poison. Can Unreal play some clutch work here? But he's on 4 HP, so it's going to be very hard. Black Poison coming around the corner and picks him off. And Bravado managing to get their sixth round score. 9-6 going into the second half. We're going to see quite an interesting game here because... The CT side, as far as I've seen, on Yakuza is not that great. And Bravado is very good as T's as well. So, we're going to see possibly a draw into overtime. Let's hope that will happen. And now we go into the last half of this third place match. Match between these two very skilled sides. So Bravado taking it very slow there on the T ramp side. Sent the only one pushing up second mid trying to see if he can get the pick. Not playing the mid yet for Yakuza. Oh, good pick there from... Ta I think it was... Uh, Detroning that got the pick there on Nod. Bravado breaches B side now. They get the picks off on Sting. Tail there, and the bomb goes down. Now, all of a sudden, Yakuza under pressure. Unreal and Snakebite, the only two left. Synoptical also being eliminated there by the Bravado onslaught. But it looks like they are pushing aggressively, getting the knife on Unreal. And uh, Snakebite, the only one left for Yakuza, yeah? Oh, he's trying to get another pick or two. He's really having a go at it, but Bravado are making fun of him, trolling him a little bit there with the knives and finally picking him off. And Bravado take their first round. Very important first round here for Bravado because they can now extend their score count from 7 to possibly 9 and maybe force the rotate on Yakuza in the 4th or 5th round. So as we go in here, Bravado now playing a little bit more uh, quicker than the previous round here. Looks like they're going to be going up to the B-side area, or a couple of them nonetheless. Sent playing the mid there. Galil's uh, SMGs and AK have been purchased from the Bravado team. So the P250 armor. Uh, looks like uh, they're going to be pushing into that... Uh, B side area, the bomb is being played in B as Hakim Detrini, both pick up picks, Detrini there with a double, very good, not the only one left, coming up the banana, being sorted out there by tail, the score now 8-9, Bravado now slowly but surely moving towards uh, the equal equalizing point, if they take the next round they can do so, no surprise by here from the Yakuza team, Although we did see in the second map they did a surprise buy there, which didn't work so well for them. So they obviously just gone for the straight P250 buy. And a quite a lot of uh, carnage happening in the middle side there. Unreal being picked off as Bravado move into the mid side here. Picking off not as well on the right hand side. Very good play there. Snakebite managing to pick up one. Black Poison already in the site here with his team. So he's going to be waiting for Sting or someone to rotate. There we go. Tail getting the double. He gets the chops. Very good play. Bravado have equalized it. Now all of a sudden things are going to be working in either, either war's favor. It all depends on who's got the better composure and the concentration here. As uh, there is still a buy from the... Oh, sorry, the buy round comes up now. So now all of a sudden... Things look not grim, but uh, interesting now for the Yakuza team. As Bravado have equalized. Nod, Unreal, and Snakebind in that B side. Sting and Synoptical, of, of, sorry, in the A side. Sting and Synoptical have the B side here covered. Let's see if they can um, 
counter this uh, onslaught here. A lot of flashes and smokies coming in from the Bravado team. Sting get, managing to get two. Very good play from Sting there. Does he get the counter support from Synoptical? Yes, he does. Eliminating three. Very good play there now. A, a little bit of an easier job here for the Yakuza side. But there we go. The pick off there from Sent. Gets the double. Very good play. Spams through and finishes it off. Bravado finally take the lead. 10-9. So now Yakuza are forced to go for the save and this is what I've been talking about, you know, Bravado extending their lead now. Full P250 purchase from the Yakuza side, they're really going to have to work together and already Black Poison taking the pick on Synoptical, they're opening up this B side, forcing the rotate. Detrini sorting out Snake Pot there, it's been that one on one the whole entire game. Black Poison sorting out Nod there as well. Sting managing to pick off one guy. Does he get a double? No, he doesn't. He gets picked off by tail. And Unreal is the last one left here for the Yakuza team against four Bravado players with AKs. Don't think it's going to work in his favor. Unreal already coming into the B side thinking it's here but only to realize they've planted an A. Very a sneaky troll move there from the Bravado team. And Tail finishing him off there. And I'll just have a quick look here. Tail uh, playing a very good round. Sent playing a f phenomenal round there. And Detrini. Uh On the Yakuza side they started off very strong as, uh, as T's. And then unfortunately losing too many rounds in a row there. So now Bravado now in favor of winning this uh, this match. So it looks like Bravado kind of spreading out your Sent and Hakim and Detrini. Looking towards that A side area to try and see if they'll take the bomb there. Hakim more playing so on the second mid to mid side. Oh, sent getting the first pick here for Bravado. Now we got a 4 and 5 situation. Bit of a problem here for the Yakuza team. Is there a forced rotate? No, it looks like Snakebite and Sting are playing that B. Bravado have noticed that B side is quite easy to breach. So they're using it towards the Sent picking up a double. Very good play from Sent here. Sting, Snakebite and Synoptical. They've got some work on their hands now. Good play here from them. They managed to pick off two of the Bravado guys. So now it's a three on three. Synoptical has to rotate quickly from the mid. Uh, sorry, from the A side into B. Because already there's a rotation occurring here from the Bravado. Players. Oh, there we go. Sting getting the pick off on Hackham. Sent finally sorting out Synoptical from behind. But a very good position at... Uh, the team is putting themselves in. Now we've got a one-on-one. -on -one. Detrini versus Snakebite. This is always an interesting game between these two. These two been going at each other the whole entire match. Oh, is Snakebite going to try and play him for time here? Because yes, he can. Oh, but Detrini coming in, taking him out. And 12-9. Bravado are within reach of claiming that third position in this Talcom Insta Clash CSGO Cup. So now the Yakuza side are able to buy up because they have uh, lost a good couple of rounds in a row. Let's see if they can make do with it. Snakebite using the AWP. He's playing uh, B side there with Sting. It looks like Bravado taking it slow once more. They've got three guys up that banana area and Hakim and Detrini playing the A. There we go, Snakebite picking off Sent. So now the AWP is missing on the Bravado side as they try to breach the B area here with the bomb. 
No, the bomb is still waiting there in that B side area. Snakebite playing very well here. Doesn't get the pick off. He needs the support now from his teammate. Detrini coming down in the A side trying to see if he can get a pick off on one of the Yakuza guys. So the road set now from Nadia. Nade goes in from Sting. Very good nade there. Gets his kill off on tail. And then gets the trip on Hackham. Very good play. And Detrini is the only one left. He gets sorted out there by Nod. Not a single person left there from Yakuza. They fight back. They get themselves into double figures now. 12-2. We've got a game. So now both teams are able to buy up now. Sent there with the Galil this time. Obviously buying that AWP cost them quite a bit. Not being able to get a pick with it. It's very unfortunate for the Bravado team. Bravado still in the lead by two rounds here. Yakuza really need to dig deep and try and defend you to try and see if they could maybe equalize or even win. It all depends. Oh, missed shot there from Snakebite on that T area as Bravado slowly but surely make their way up to second mid here. Unreal getting the first pick now. Synoptical coming around. Does he get one? He gets one. Does he get two? No, he doesn't. He gets picked off by Black Poison. Very good play. Not now trying to support and get a pick or two himself. But Bravado are... Got two guys left, Hakim and Black Poison, as Yakuza have got four. This looks like it will go towards Yakuza. Black Poison making his way up the B side with that bomb. Hakim still playing A here. It's a very equal game, well, equal map this specifically. Both teams playing fantastic in winning a map. There we go, Black Poison dropping the bomb on on uh, on B, and Sting finally putting the bullet through Hackham's head there, and uh, increasing or well, decreasing that lead of Bravado's 12-11. So yeah, looking at it now, Sna uh, Snakebite playing a very good game there. And Scent and Dentrini both in the 20s. Really applied a lot of pressure onto this Yakuza side. As Yakuza now wait for the B save on here from Bravado. Sting managing to pick up two there with the good support of Snakebite. Only two Bravado members left. And the, as they pick off Snakebite, Sting picking up his third. Sent uh, battling it out here with him. Sting trying to go in for the knife. And gets the knife on Sent. And scores a level 12 all. So now the question is can Bravado bounce back after losing a couple of rounds? Or can Yakuza maintain their current uh, situation where they, you know, they're defending very well? I mean, this can go either or. We can't say. Very close game here between these two very good teams. So Bravado choosing to go the second mid option here, having two guys in the window, I mean the apartments moving into house. Synoptical has got the house defended here. Now Sting and Snakebite are the only two. Sitting in B. Bravado get the first pick on Nod. So now all of a sudden the rotate needs to occur, which it does Sting. Then coming into A now from the B side area. Bravado's taking control of the house side now. And there we go. Sent getting another pick on Synoptical. Very good play here from him. Finally, Yakuza pull one back. They pick up Detrini. And Sting then coming to the party here with some good play. Picking up a double. Very good play here from Sting before he gets picked off by Sent. So now we've got a one on two situation. Snakebite is in the vicinity here. He's going to try and see if he can maybe pick one off. Both players on very low HP. Sent and... Black Poison. So Black Poison kind of just chilling it out now, trying to see if he can uh, waste some time as Sent has moved towards the midside area. Ooh, this is going to be close. Could be a scopeless here from Snakebite. Oh, there we go, Black Poison sorting him out. Bravado once again 
takes the lead. 13-12. Very good play. So very close third map here. This is what we were waiting for. Um, just looking at it uh, now, the, <laughs> the first two maps were kind of uniform maps where they just went through the errands and you know, won, their, won their rounds and just kind of got, got it over and done with. Because the real decider is between Bravado and Yakuza for the third place on this map. Not taking the first pick there. Black Poison trying to counter but fails to do so. So now Bravado one down. Yakuza need to try and take this round to equalize up the scores. So now very slow play here. Hackerman Detrini playing that A side there with the bomb tail coming up mid. Black Poison also looking at mid. Not now retreating back. He gets the one pick on tail. Very good play. Hackerman trying to pick him off but then Nod returns with another great AWP shot. Black Poison under a bit of pressure now because he's in the middle right there and there's a smoke that's covering him. And Nod gets the pick on Black Poison. Good play here from Nod picking up four so far. Detrini finally getting one. But maybe it's a little too late on this round here. As the Bravado team are in a little bit of a pickle now trying to see if they can get themselves out of it. Oh, Nod then picking up the ace. Very good play, so that's another ace uh, in this game here. And the scores are level 13 apiece. Extremely close game here between Yakuza and Bravado Gaming. 13 all. This can go either or. For some of you guys that have done your bets on CSGOLounge.com, well, for some of you, you will lose, and for some of you, you will win. I mean, it's quite simple, but you can't really tell right now. Three rounds... For both of these teams, one of them needs to get to 16 first. Let's see who it'll be. Slow play here from Bravada as they move up to the B side here. Very good teamwork from Bravada. Very good cross cover. All of that. But I've seen the same here on the Yakuza side, specifically on Sting and uh, Snakebite. A very good pair there. Bravada breaching in. Snakebite managing to pick off one, but they pick off Sting. So good exchange from Bravadi. A very good save round as they take down Sting. Sorry. Snakebite got taken out there. Sting taking off Nadia. Absolutely fantastic round here from the Bravado team. As they are taking out the Yakuza guys. Unreal's the only one to beat. And there we go. Bravado take the lead. 14-13. So Bravado now only two rounds away from winning this. And Yakuza three rounds. So can Yakuza come to the party and take a round back? Very, very intense game here. Two of the guys from Bravado are moving up that B side. Scent and Black Poison. Oh, very good play there from Stink. Not Sting not getting the pick, but uh, nonetheless, you know, getting like the idea there. Oh, sent uh, managing to pick off uh, snake bite and then the nade. They're good exchange. There is unfortunately a rotate here from the CT side, but good crossfire here as they all exchange and trade kills evenly. Not then getting the pick and then Detrini coming in and K taking the shot on Unreal. We've got a two on two. Tail trying to assist his team member there. Good play by Detron. He's got one to beat. Sting left and Sting has got quite an aim. Sting manages to pick off Tail. Does he get the second one now on Detron? He's got the P250 up. Tetrini playing quite well here, yeah? keeping Sting at base. Sting going for the defuse, the fake defuse in fact. And there we go, Bravado, 15-13. Looks like they might actually win this. 
Let's just have a quick look on their finances. Yeah, no, the CTs don't have anything in their pockets, so they're going to buy whatever they can. But none of this, I've seen games where they've come back like this and managed to win it with a very scrappy type of buy where there's a Nova and like an, a submachine gun and that's about it. But there are three, two, three P250s with armor. They can do the damage with them. Let's see what happens in this uh, possible last round. Provada now moving up that B corridor side here. Sent getting the first pick on Nod there. So now already the Yakuza team in trouble. Synoptical coming through. He's going to try and see if he can chase down Scent. Which he does. But uh, Black Poison and Tail already picking out the guys at B. So now there's only two left. And Real coming up the V side. And then Synoptical now coming up from CT Spawn. So it's a 4 and 2 situation here. Looks like Bravana might actually take this. Well, maybe not. And there we go, they do, and Bravado win it, 16-13, very good play from Bravado, they win the third place match, and uh, yeah, I mean, that was quite, uh, quite something to watch, I mean, most of the guys probably thought, like, you know, this will be something that Yakuza could possibly take, uh, nonetheless, you know, Bravado coming through, there was some fantastic play, the first map, you know, uh, Yakuza, you know, beating them 16-13 was very good, Bravado coming back on the second one, Beating them 16-2 and then all of a sudden it's game on. Third map and we didn't know which way it was going to go. And such a close game right on the end here between these two sides. Bravado just taking it there. I think, um, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of um, credit should go to Sent and his team. Playing with a, a sub in tonight and actually pulling it through and actually winning it. Very good play. Uh, man of the match award, I would probably say we would go to Detrony or Sting. I can't really decide between the two. Very good play from both of those players. I mean, they were exceptionally, uh, they played exceptionally, you know, exceptionally well with their support, their picking off, and uh, in in general their gameplay. So, guys, um, yeah, I mean, you know, looking at it now, I probably will be in the next uh, couple of minutes uh, putting up a link for you guys to go and vote. Who do you think will be man of the match for the CS:GO Telcom Insta Clash Cup final between EC and e EN tonight? Um, obviously, a couple of the winners will walk away with some games and so forth, but uh, we'll see what they are. Cool, so I'll see you guys in the next couple of minutes, and uh, yeah, just uh, stay, tu stay tuned and let your, let your mates know about the, the cast.